Right now, a man in Monroe is out $30,000, all because he got scammed. And police are saying tonight they have no way of getting that money back. WTOL 11 has learned that scammers are targeting a lot of people in southeast Michigan and northwest Ohio. Kaylee Marantet is live in studio tonight with us. So why do they say, why do police say they can't get this money back? Lieutenant Randy Sale with Dundee Police say the scammers had this man put $30,000 into a Bitcoin ATM and that money can't be recovered now. And for police, it's a problem they're seeing and hearing of more often. The message from police is to be aware of who is possibly calling you before you agree to do anything. These scammers are telling people that their private information or bank accounts have been hacked and that the bank is trying to take their money, oftentimes claiming they're from Microsoft, the government or Federal Reserve, and they shouldn't tell anyone about what's happening and to deposit money into a Bitcoin account. Lieutenant Sale says not only is the department over overrun with reports of these scams, resources to track down scammers is scarce, which means for the man in Monroe that's out 30,000 bucks, it's up to the federal government to step in and help. We're working with the Department of Homeland Security, trying to get that back for him, but we're getting calls daily from all over Monroe County and all over Michigan that people are getting hit with this scam daily. And uh, unfortunately, the callers are originating around the country, we believe to be in India, and they're just untouchable by law enforcement here in, in, in the United States. Scammers are often targeting older people. If you do get a call, don't give any personal information out and ignore them. You can also contact your bank directly to see if there's an issue with your account. In studio, Kaylee Marantet, WTOL 11.